Uh, Gary, what do you mean by what is option? Like what is an option period? That's a great question. Is, is that what you're asking right here? It says option. Okay, awesome guys. So when you're buying a house, let's take a step back. Honestly, wait, I gotta, Gary, Gary, you know what I gotta do? I gotta mark the time. There we go. We're gonna clip this for you too. Okay, so when you're buying a house, how do you buy a house? Let's just say there's a house. Whether you're buying it creative or you're buying it cash, you have a house. We're gonna choose a house here at random. You ready? Gary, what house do you like? Gary, could you see yourself living in this house? I could see you living in this house, Gary. If you moved here from South Africa, you could come and live in this beautiful house. But if you want to move into this beautiful house, and I don't care whether you're buying this subject to seller finance, cash innovation, you're buying this house, you need to open up escrow. All right, you're gonna open up escrow. And during that time, you're gonna choose a few days, an option period is what we call it, a due diligence period, where you'll be able to Go and inspect the house. Other people call it an inspection period. And you'll see if you like the house or not. Maybe something's wrong with it. Maybe the seller was lying to you about some things. Maybe the pictures didn't do it justice, right? That's a time where you're able to look at a house. And if you don't like it, you back out. So if you made an offer on this beautiful house for $825,000, you would then in your contract say, hey, I need a three-day option period a five day option period, a seven day option period, a 10 day option period, a 21 day option period. And during that time, you can back out for any reason. Because why is this important? You put something called earnest money deposit down. So in this example that Ryan gave, he said, hey, we're gonna put 1800 EMD down. You're usually putting somewhere from like half a percent to 1%. So in this deal, you may put four or $8,000 of earnest money. And that's just showing, hey, I'm interested in this deal. I'm serious. And if I back out after my option period, after those three, five, seven, 10, 15, 21 days, I lose that money. But if I back out any time within the option period, I get to keep my money. So that's why option money, option period is so important. It takes a property off market. It takes it pending like that last property. It takes it pending for a few days. And now other people you know can't can't you know can't get the deal right so why is it so important to get an option period well that is your time that you're wholesaling you don't want to wholesale after those 3 5 10 21 days because now you could lose your earnest money but if you wholesale within those days you can back out for any reason so that's why we need a minimum of 3 days for cash deals and for creative deals you know, you probably want a little bit more because it's harder to locate a buyer, but we want a minimum three days. We would prefer five to find a buyer. We usually find our buyers within 24 hours. And then you want your close time to be at least two weeks for cash or probably a month for creative. So hopefully that was helpful, but option periods are super important. That for wholesalers, when, when we're allowed to wholesale and market a deal and make our money.